Hi everybody. So recently I gave my interview for the position of software developer intern at Magnet Forensics. So Magnet Forensics is a company that digitalizes forensics uh, that are received uh, during criminal investigation. So uh, the tech stack the company follows is front end for uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, and back end for Golang. Uh, dot, dot net C sharp as well. So that's the uh, tech stack that the company uses. And based on the job requirement, the minimum requirements you could say is uh, experience with full stack development, experience in front end development as well with JavaScript or TypeScript. And in back end development, uh, you need to be strong with either C, Java, or C and uh, Oops concepts. So that's where it uh, boils down to. And now I'll share the interview questions that I received. So it was basically uh, a one hour interview session with uh, two software developers from Magnet Forensics itself. And uh, first question was introduce yourself. Then next was talk about your previous experiences and what you did. And there was some counter questioning based on uh, uh, what your experiences are. Talk about a project where you display technical skills and then talk about a task or a feature that uh, was difficult to implement in that. So you can think of any project and talk about that. Difference between unit testing and automation testing. Then next is what is code review? You can talk about that. So these were key points that were mentioned in my resume. So please uh, strengthen your resume and uh, proofread it as well. So whatever key points that you put in your resume, make sure that you, it's not lies, first of all. <laughs> and uh, please make sure that you have gone through it well. So the questions will be based on your resume, obviously. And then uh, next was a technical assessment. So let's talk about the technical assessment. So Magnet Forensics basically asked me two technical questions. So it was a coding round. I was supposed to um, share my screen and write down the code for these two questions. So the first coding question is um, consider a, a number n from 1 to n. If n is divisible, if the number is divisible by 3, print buzz. If it's divisible by 5, print fizz. If both, print fizz buzz. And second question was a continuation of the first question. So again, uh, consider n and a random array. Uh, which is 1 to m integer array. Now from 1 to n, consider sum is 0. And if n is divisible by m, then sum up m. So basically, it's slightly confusing. Let me make this a bit more readable to dot 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 m. So if 1, basically two for loops. So the upper outer for loop will be till n in a for loop will be till m. So if n is divisible by m, then sum up m. If n is not divisible by m, then ignore it. Move on with the next number. There's a condition here. If n is divisible by all m numbers, then we have to exit the loop and return zero. So that's the stop condition. So basically they're testing out uh, our for loop strength and uh, divisibility test again. So these were the questions that Magnet Forensics asked me for the technical round, and they gave me about 20 minutes to half an hour to uh, solve this, talking about the approach, uh, uh, the time complexity of both, and uh, space complexity of both, and yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you.